We now know more about a woman killed during a drive-by shooting in West Bear County. Now, we first told you about it yesterday here on GMSA. Investigators say she was 25-year-old Novita Brazil. That's according to the Bear County Medical Examiner's Office. Now, that shooting happened at a home on Bald Mountain Drive near Marbrook Road on Loop 1604. The Bear County Sheriff's Office says more than 100 rounds were fired into that home. Brazil died from a gunshot wound to the head. Two young teens were taken into custody in connection with that shooting. Bear County Sheriff's investigators have not said what charges the suspects will face. The Sheriff's Office says investigators have determined that none of the 22 deaths during last year's winter storm were caused by the power outages. Because of that, the Sheriff's Office is now closing its criminal investigation. The February 2021 storm caused days of rolling and sustained power outages because of issues with the Texas power grid. In total, 246 people died statewide. On a separate note, half a dozen wrongful death lawsuits filed in San Antonio against CPS Energy and ERCOT are still pending. President Biden will visit Florida today to tour the damage caused by Hurricane Ian. The president pledging that federal, state and local governments will work as one to help rebuild homes, businesses and lives. The president will meet with residents and small business owners in Fort Myers as well as first responders. Biden's visit comes as workers push to restore power to search for anyone still trapped inside flooded or damaged homes. Officials said thousands of people have been rescued so far. Meanwhile, the number of storm related deaths has risen past 100 and could go higher as search and rescue crews continue to comb through the hardest hit areas. Federal officials, including the FBI, are investigating the fatal shooting of a migrant who was in custody in El Paso. This happened at a U.S. Border Patrol station yesterday. The Mexican consulate said the migrant was a Mexican citizen, and according to Mexican officials, he was being processed when it was discovered that he had criminal charges. Officials have not said what led up to the shooting. A Texas death row inmate whose case clarified the role of spiritual advisors in death chambers nationwide is scheduled for execution later today. 38-year-old John Henry Ramirez was sentenced to death for stabbing a convenience store clerk 29 times in Corpus Christi back in 2004. Ramirez challenged state prison rules that prevented his pastor from touching him and praying aloud during his execution. The challenge led to his execution being delayed. In March, the Supreme Court sided with Ramirez, saying states must accommodate the wishes of death row inmates who want to have their faith leaders pray and touch them during executions. If Ramirez is executed, it would be the third inmate put to death this year in Texas.